Still to come on Eyewitness News, a gift idea for the person who has everything. First there was the maxi computer, then the mini computer, and then the micro computer. Until recently, micro computers were in the hands of businesses or very dedicated hobbyists. It was only a matter of time before proven leaders in mass marketing developed their own machines. The personal electronic transactor, or PET, is manufactured by Commodore, a company that helped bring calculators into common usage. The most obvious part of the PET is the video screen, which is used as a computer display. A built-in cassette recorder is used to load and store programs and other information. Communication with the computer is accomplished through a small keyboard. A look inside the $600 machine shows that there is a lot of room left. The fact that the contents are quite powerful explains why there isn't much of them. Another computer for the masses is Radio Shack's TRS-80. The TRS-80 has the same price and the same components as the PET. A cassette recorder for storage, a TV monitor for display, and a keyboard. But Radio Shack has included a graphics mode for drawing pictures and playing games, like backgammon. Certainly the most expensive and perhaps the niftiest home microcomputer is the Apple II for $1,300. The Apple II has everything the other two have except for the video monitor. It has graphics in 15 colors and can play through the antenna terminals of any color television. Little hand controllers are also provided for easy game playing. The Apple also has few but very powerful electronics. All three computers come with a programming language called BASIC that makes it simple to make the computer do almost anything. BASIC computer programs that run on one machine will run on any of the others with few changes. One problem, though, is that cassettes containing programs for a particular computer will play only on that machine. Hopefully by Christmas, major department stores will be stocking small computers similar to these. So by New Year's, lucky owners of new microcomputers will either be fascinated by their potential power or really disgusted with the occasional frustrations of computer use. Tomorrow, we'll take a tour of the place that helped make it all possible. Henry Birdseye, TV4 Eyewitness News.